Turn all that. 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 that way isn't it? Some people say it's not the occult, it's more of a spiritual thing but it's, you know. Well to me it's... Stuff can be the occult. Yeah. Crowley consider themselves spiritual um, occultists of magic. So you've noticed that someone's been here and cleaned this place up a little bit. box up there, look. Wow. And then, out here, I noticed, you just see slate, kind of, um, I don't know what that is to be honest with you, but, look, a few quid. Looks like an altar. Slate altar. I haven't seen that. Pop your head out. I will. So I'm going to smash this up here. Oh, yeah. Someone completely kicked that in. Colonel EXP stickers. Oh! They're everywhere. Oh, that was my lad. I'm up there. Oh, flipping heck, sorry. <laughs> oh, right, the time. Yeah, might have gained some subscribers out of that, I don't know. Debatable. You really want subs. <laughs> oh, God. He's trying to get to a thousand, so. Show him some love. Thank you, folks. <laughs> We've bought it up as best as we can. So, where's, um, could I do the radio? You know, that's a weird one, isn't it? Because I've seen it a minute ago. Oh, it's over there, look. Oh, there it is. So you've got a ghost box here. Let it warm up a minute. Brave B. Right, so... If you sit over there, Colonel. Over where? Sit on the rock there by the fire, whatever you want, really. Right there. Um, oh, shit. <coughs> I knocked the ball, sorry. Uh, I knocked the ball. Paperwork in the bag. Uh, 
very important. We need the paperwork. There we go. Oh. You alright over there? Yeah. Are you sat on something? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> One or two more. Righty. I'm actually recording in night vision, folks. So my video will be uploaded maybe next week. So this is recorded Saturday, May the 21st, 1938. Something happened in this place that caused two deaths and a man to end up in a lunatic asylum. Mrs. Catherine Laird Arnold Forster, also known as Carr Cox, aged 51, died two days after coming here to the rescue of another woman. A woman that died here herself. She came up here to this cottage when a lady was taken ill on the Saturday, May the 21st. She was visiting a friend and two days later she died of a seizure. After a friend died in this very cottage. She never regained consciousness and her death certificate read heart failure. On Wiki, her sudden death. Do you know what mate? I'm not being funny, but I just felt like a like something around my heart. Did you? Yeah. It's bloody weird. Could that be something to do with that? Could be. Hmm. Weird. On Wiki, her sudden death at the age of 51 fuels speculation of involvement in the occult. She was a neo-pagan. These movements have a close relationship to ritual magic and modern witchcraft, which Crowley himself was involved in. She was 100% involved in witchcraft. Wiki shows this woman has a strong link to Crowley. Crowley was an occultist and did magic works. This woman's work in life involved being a magistrate. She was married to a politician whose name was Will Arnold Forster. She was friends with some of the most high profile people in the UK. She was also very close friends with Virginia Woolf, a famous woman. Mm. Her death came as a terrible blow to many of her friends. Because except for a slight cold during the last few days, she seemed to be quite well which was according to the Penwith Local History Group. Con Cottage, which is this place, was being rented out by a couple, Gerald and Leyline Vaughan. On the evening of May 21, 1938, Carl Cox was asked to go up to the cottage. Depending on what account you read, Either Mrs. Vaughan was very ill, or the Vaughans were in a state of panic because this cottage was so haunted. Now I know this is a house is haunted, this cottage is haunted based on my previous evidence that I've gathered here. I know it's active. So this is a hundred percent in my opinion that they would have been afraid that this place was haunted, especially the fact that they themselves was into the occult. 
The Vaughans were very concerned about a satanic ritual taking place in this cottage involving Alistair Crowley himself. Whatever, whatever happened that evening, by the end of it, Car Cox was dead. No, sorry. Car Cox came up to the house and Mrs. Vaughan was dead. And Gerald Vaughan was, um, was taken into a lunatic asylum. Something feared him that much that he went into shock that they stuck him in a lunatic asylum. And he died after that. He went mad. Something in this cottage sent him insane. So what? What did he see that killed his wife? His wife died in here with him and it meant that he then went insane. Something happened. Mm -hmm. And they stated that Crowley was in here doing a ritual to do with the devil. These were perfectly sane people before what happened happened. Isn't that really weird? Yeah. Now, I've had Alistair Crowley come through my ghost box in this place when I've been here alone. And it, say, it stated that we called him a priest. At the time, I didn't know too much about Alistair Crowley. Um, listening back, when I found the footage that I found, I looked into his history and found out that he did call himself a priest. I also believe I have his voice direct to me, telling me to keep practicing. So I do 100% believe that he was in this college. I also believe that people uh, will it enough that he could appear here to these people that are doing all this occult stuff in here. Because that was one of his main beliefs, if you will it to happen. Now his um, religion was called Philema, and the idea of that was the saying, do what thou wilt. So if people are here gathered together and they're doing what they want, what they will, and that's something that he practiced himself, then the chances of him actually appearing here are strong. Crowley believed that he was a prophet of the New Age. He had quite a big following in the world and still does. Crowley claimed to have had a spiritual experience with his wife, Rose Edith, in Egypt in 1904. He claimed to have been visited by a being known as Lam. Lam, when you see the picture that Crowley drew can only be described as what you would know today as a grey alien. Very short grey with a very elongated head. Considering at the time, 1904, nobody even talked about UFOs or aliens. In fact, the grey alien thing only started after the Roswell situation of um, air crew who said they witnessed these small grey skinned um, beings with elongated heads which match exactly to the picture 
Alistair Crowley drew in 1904. So, did Crowley conjure up lamb in this cottage? I wonder. Lamb is the Tibetan meaning for way or path. This is what it means. So, lamb is an energy that would show you the path or the way. But is this a negative energy or a positive energy? It is believed, going by the Vaughan's testament, to um, Catherine, who was known as Car Cox, they stated that Alistair Crowley summoned the devil in his cottage. Another reason I believe it is very possible that he was here is the fact that his son, who nicknamed himself Alistair, even though he was called Randall, He grew up in Newlin, not far from here. His son ended up in Madrid Workhouse mm -hmm. and he went insane. And he was actually forced out of Madrim Workhouse through the courts, where he later moved up um, country and died in a car crash. So his son had schizophrenia, and it's no surprising really of um, other conditions he, he may have had from the communication he had with his father. The lifestyle. And it must have been a burden of being and knowing that you're Alistair Crowley's son as well. So what we're going to look for is validation of Mr. and Mrs. Vaughan, Mrs. Cox, we're going to look for these names, listen for these names. And ask what happened on Saturday, May the 21st, 1938. What did they see and what did they hear? We're going to ask what killed them, why did it kill them, and was Alistair Crowley here, and if it will say his name. And then we'll ask what did Crowley do here, why did he do it, If I can have confirmation that I did actually have a full on contact with Alistair Crowley in this cottage previously, did he speak to me? So that's what we're going to ask. And we'll just pause that a minute. Mm -hmm. I can't even see you. He's just in the darkness. <laughs> well, I can see you. There is a bit of a cold sensation over here, but the thing is, it's all open, isn't it? Yeah. So that's probably why. We've had a few light, night, light anomalies go by, but nothing that I can say is 100% at the minute. Mind you, it's only a small screen, so, it, you know, until I get it on a bigger screen, I don't know. Continue. Oh, my light on there. Oof. I'm still recording. I got 19 minutes now. Yeah. <laughs> it 
there was quite a few orbs that went around then on on the left over here right just like three or four all in, all in sync went flying right across. i don't know if that was anything or no really yeah the the video i've got is flickering but i think that's to do with the fire Okay, spirits here, Con Cottage, come forward and speak to us. My name is Mark. This is Mark over there as well. Hello. And let's get it warmed up. May I said it right? Right, okay. Let's get the questions. Can you say Mr. and Mrs. Vaughan or the surname Vaughan? Yeah, it sounded like it. Can you say Car Cox? Oh, my breath just went all weird then. Oh. Like a sudden. And now it's not doing it. How weird is that? Yeah, I could see it from here, the fog coming out. It was like for a split second. Yeah. Can you say Car Cox? Don't worry, I've not stopped. But yeah, yeah, you need to record. Okay. Can you say Car Cox for me, please? I think I just said it. I swear I've got that on camera. I'm going to have to. Let me stop that there so I know where to go. I swear that I just went Car Cox. Mm. But I won't be able to tell until I listen back. Yeah. Stop that one. Start again. Can you? I think I heard you say Car Cox. Um, I've restarted the video. I'm just wondering if you can say Car Cox again. Did you hear what that said? That said, not really, mate. Did it? That's what it sounded like. Not really, mate. Bloody hell. That's a, a local accent as well, I can tell. Very Cornish. Yeah. Can you say Mr. and Mrs. Vaughan? Can you say the surname Vaughan? Okay. Uh, ask again. Can you say the surname Vaughan for me, please?
ask again, can you tell me of the spirit of Mrs. Vaughan who died in... I dropped again. Yeah. Wow. I'm not. Temperature's changed. It's colder over there than it is here, but the fire is dying now. Yeah, but that shouldn't be like that here. No. Okay, I'm getting the change in atmosphere right now. I'm taking that. Someone is present. Is there someone present with me? Heaven, then. Yeah, I heard something so like that. Is Mrs. Vaughan still here? <laughs> Did Alistair Crowley visit this place with the Vaughans? It's strong chance. Can you say the name Crowley, Alistair Crowley? Whoa. That was clear. That was clear. Oh, bloody hell! Heard that. Local voice as well. Thank you for that. Was Alistair Crowley? It's gone really ice cold here. Yeah, it's cooling down here now. Was Alistair Crowley? Involved with the lady, Mrs. Vaughan, that died here. Died. Mm. What killed Mrs. Vaughan? Devil. Mm. Oh. Starting to work now, isn't it? If you said devil, can you repeat devil? No. No. Um, Mark, yeah. I just had a thump on the wood round here. No. I'm not joking. I'm not fucking joking. It was right in front of me, like a knock. My breath is. It's uh, it's starting to happen, mate. If there is someone near Mark over there by the fire, can you tap on the wood? Two knocks. I might have captured that on this camera. Okay. It was right near me. I couldn't. Be I can't believe that. Christ. Or was it one knock? One knock. Yeah. If you are here, can you tap or knock on the wood? I heard something then. Can you whistle? Please do it. I did hear something then, but I don't know if that was me. Oh, that, that was me. Did Alistair Crowley summon something evil in this house? 